Welcome friends once again to my NPTEL MOOC module on um, exploring healthcare survey data. We are on the verge of 7th week of the module. Uh, we have already started explaining panel data uh, in healthcare. <coughs> on this particular lecture, uh, we are directed to deal with uh, the you know different uh, models of panel, panel data in healthcare. Here uh, we have thought of dealing with you know one of the st very starting point of panel model usually discussed called common constant model uh, otherwise called you know pooled model in, in panel uh, or in healthcare. So, let us understand to what extent pooled or common constant you know, model are dif different than that of the proper you know panel model. Uh, this lecture is this you know week lecture we are uh, giving largely on, on, on clarifying the concept uh, and with some practical handouts, practical you know experiments, uh, we'll also nurture you with the exact interpretations of of these all models, and these are highly useful in research, especially those are advanced users, advanced users in the sense you know those who are writing uh, their papers and submitting to a good journal, usually A category journals. They I will al always suggest to uh, you know follow this very carefully and, and, and accomplish your paper accordingly. So, here are the background information about uh, this uh, model in social sciences especially in economics data sets uh, combining time series and cross sections are usually very you know uh, uh, prevalent. These data sets are rich source of information regarding the you know activities of an economy. Uh, to analyze uh, these uh, database, uh, we uh, these allows researchers to learn about how economic dimensions or uh, structure accounts for you know heterogeneity across entities or dynamics uh, um, dynamic effects that are not captured in cross sections. So, uh, two important points to highlight here one is called heterogeneity across entities. So, it is not just the cross sectional heterogeneity there are heterogeneity due to other dimensions as well. Uh, in uh, in uh, addition to that we are also adding information about you know, dynamic effects uh, which are not uh, captured in cross sections data. The panel data models examine uh, group effects, time effects or both in order to deal with heterogeneity or individual effect that may or may not be observed. Uh, so, uh, like you know it, it captures individual uh, specific effects as well as group effects, uh, both the cases uh, are going to be discussed through this lecture. The panel data methods can be divided into two broad categories, one is called homogeneous panel data, second one is called heterogeneous panel data. Homogeneous uh, the word clarifies this assumes that the model parameters are actually homogeneous in the sense you know they are, con they are, they are common across individuals like you know we, we have in ordinary least square method or ordinary regression uh, methods or in, 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 in general cross sectional data. These are also called pooled models. So, homogeneous panel data are, are, are discussed in the context of pooled models as well. A, 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 whereas, uh, in the case of you know heterogeneous panel data models, this allows uh, you know the, the the model to have you know different parameters across individuals. The you know individuals are actually varying uh, with their predicted values uh, when there are some forms of dynamism, some forms of differences across individuals. Maybe due to you know the differences across. Uh, across you know um, you know uh, time or across the the cross sections so if when both are uh, understood they are they are actually captured in the heterogeneous panel model uh, another aspect is called uh, fixed effect and random effect models uh, you know within the heterogeneous panel model data uh, these both models actually you know um, uh, are our example of panel data models heterogeneous panel data models to estimate uh, the panel data regression, uh, we, we considered three important you know models. One is called common constant model, also called a panel least square model. These are also called pooled OLS uh, regression model. 
um, then another one is called fixed effect model and the third one is called random effect model. Uh, let us start with the common constant model. The it says could have written we could have written, written as pooled. Uh, you might have uh, further um, you know raise certain confusion. You know to do that we use the term common constant model as per the book and as per the standard uh, definition or explanation. So the word common constant means you know uh, your your coefficient of estimation is going to be constant. Okay, throughout the model for, for, for the particular estimation. Now, you can see which are the common, the, this is you know the estimate, this is the constant estimate, estimator and this is the coefficient or slope estimator, both are actually going to be constant. Slope as well as intercept are our constant across time as well as individuals. In, in such cases, it is called common constant model. Now, uh, assumption uh, similar to that of the OLS model, uh, it, it uh, the you know error term though that varies uh, across cross section and, and, and time, but in, in, in such type of data we simply assume that it is normally distributed and then with you know standard normal distribution with, with, with its you know, stand mean as 0 and, and, and uh, standard variance is sigma square. Okay. So, here i varies from 1 to n cross section capital N cross sections and t varies from 1 to capital T uh, time. Uh, time points. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you know the individuality of each subject uh, is, is of each subject is subsumed in the error term. So, any sort of uh, individual differences though are actually captured in error term. Uh, therefore, the assumption in this case is that you know there must be strong het heterogeneity. Okay. Heterogeneity between uh, you know the explanatory variable and the error term. So, expected value of the explanatory uh, variable and, and the error term uh, is, is, is equal to 0. Uh, so, the estimation technique we, we consider is, is called pooled, pooled OLS model because you know simply these uh, each item by, by varying by time or by varying by you know cross section these are simply pooled together and then defined uh, with a common model and that is why they are called pooled. Now, there are, you might have questions on this that you know how come they are even if pulled you know there are differences you know our assumption is forcefully making it you know uh, with you know no endogeneity it has strong exogeneity. Okay. Therefore, we go for OLS. Uh, even if we do it uh, we cannot just convince ourselves that you know it is going to have you know 0 um, you know exogeneity or, or 0 uh, endogeneity it has strong exogeneity. There are some practical examples we wanted to show it to you and uh, we are going to experiment with it. Uh, like you know uh, here we are giving a pooled kind of data. We have also ci citing the data from uh, WHO panel data sets those are available and we will also uh, make you available with this you know practical data set uh, in, in your portal. Uh, all of you could able to find uh, the data for your own experimentation. Along with that, we are going to also show uh, you and, and, and uh, run regression uh, results with IHTS panel data. Uh, you know, I, I just want to mention you, just give you a note again that you know, uh, if you have still some confusion about forming a panel data through IHTS, you need to refer to my earlier module that is uh, you know handling large scale data set using Stata uh, that was uh, that is still also running at this moment. Okay, and uh, you may also follow from YouTube how panel data could be generated. ISDS was initially not providing the panel data to the public, but nowadays the structured panel data is, is available for us to work with. So, both the way will be emphasizing and, and clarifying your doubt. So, ISDS is the only longitudinal survey, uh, large scale survey available in India. Uh, there are in fact two waves of this survey ISDS 1 and ISDS 2. So, let us uh, go for it and, and, and explain um, a bit about it. Uh, on the startup window we are uh, uh, you know deriving results. I am going to open the first on the WHO data set. Okay. Now, uh, so I will open the file and import the uh, data uh, on your screen. And this is the data we are going to show it to you or we are going to provide with you. And now we can define which are your uh, row variable 
and then the row variable basically that identifies your uh, variable names correctly. Now, we will open and, and, and share with you uh, the constant uh, you know um, common model uh, analysis uh, and in this uh, WHO data set we will be running some of the uh, commands we have given here for you and then in order to con you know cut short our time and to explain the best in the lecture we have kept a do file for your reference as well okay here the first one we have already imported now we are doing some pre estimation okay and the first pre estimation we are doing with this data is describing the data with three uh, important variable household expenditure this is the first one okay uh, that is uh, household expenditure on health so health expenditure age stands for health expenditure so that is uh, here and uh, describe is going to give you the nature of the data on your screen okay then next will be um, clarifying you about uh, you know uh, the uh, extra set for, you know we need to set whether to, uh, which kind of panel it is what is the panel ids so, ID and the year uh, these are the two variables uh, defined as the you know panel units for us panel variables for us year is the T, T variable ID is the cross sectional variable. So, now we have defined XT set is, is mandatory for you to run at the first to uh, recognize the you know stata to go with the panel data estimation. Now, this once you set it uh, you know this suggests that yes this is a strongly balanced data. Okay. So, again some of those clarification you can get it uh, from um, our previous lecture as well as you can refer to my previous module. Uh, okay. uh, now, the data is from 93, 1993 to 1997 okay. and, and uh, <coughs> the change by time is of 1 unit. So, one, uh, 1 unit time effect change is, is given. Now, we are going to run the third uh, important uh, you know, pre estimation technique. Uh, that is you know the summary of the data of these three important variables uh, that is x t sum we are going to operate x t sum here. Now, the result is on your screen. Uh, so, x t sum uh, with these three variables that summary is, is giving uh, you know in information. So, we are getting uh, in panel one of the important aspect is that we are going to get the overall model within effect and uh, you know between effects as well. Okay. So, since this is this is a pool data, it is not capturing the between and within, it is simply considering the overall estimation. Okay? Whereas, in case of fixed effect and random effect, you can easily differentiate uh, these, these categories. Now, but it has given its standard deviation in each categories, by mean it has considered the overall mean, but by standard deviation there would be certainly some differences, the minimum value, maximum value n small n and the time the number of time periods are 5 in each case since it is a strongly balanced panel. So, these are all the description for you now we are going to run with the proper CCM uh, model on your screen. So, this uh, common constant model it is a kind of you know pool data as I told you. So, the simple regression command is going to give you the result. Okay. So, on your screen uh, we have derived the REG uh, the health expenditure data is, 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 uh, is the dependent variable. Now, you can easily compare this result with the ordinary least square data. This is in fact the ordinary least square model uh, and then and, uh, <coughs> and um, uh, the coefficient uh, we can interpret easily the p values can be interpreted the way we usually do it. So, there is no, no major difference as compared to the OLS model. Now, let us move to our uh, PPT once again. Um, I, will, I will also show it uh, with the explanation in, in writing. Uh, so, we are explaining the WHO panel data uh, uh, just to observe the effect of educational attainment and disability adjusted life expectancy on per capita health expenditure. So, the health expenditure variable was taken as the dependent variable. So, dependent variable is per capita health expenditure whereas, the independent variable are, are, are like you know educational attainment and, and DEL disability adjusted life expectancy. The purpose of this lecture is to show how do <coughs> how to do panel analysis with health data. It does not cover the whole research process and model. Okay? 
So, uh, we will steadily capture uh, other uh, you know directions of panel data, but at this moment we are just trying to give you the background information about uh, you know uh, a common constant model which is uh, essentially required for discussion uh, in order to start with fixed effect and random effect model. Now, just to clarify, I have already uh, discussed about describe command and sum summarize the you know effects, summarize the you know statistics. Uh, so, basically in some summary it, it, it also separates within uh, or over time and between you know uh, variations. So, the standard deviation value within and, 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 and within basically over time because you know within the cross sections how the same cross section unit is, is varying over time that is why it is called within whereas, between basically between the individuals. So, how individuals are actually uh, um, and their responses are varying or varying across individuals not nothing to do with the time factor. So, between is not co taking um, comparison of the time whereas, within is actually emphasizing the time aspects. Uh, so, uh, these are all three types of statistics overall uh, then between then within uh, between as I told you calculated on the basis of some statistics of number of cross section regardless of the time period. So, uh, and 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 uh, within is is basically considering the time time factor and casing the time time changes. So, the x t sum uh, uh, the command we have clarified already derived on your screen and you can check that you know between and within effect uh, the variations are uh, observed. So, uh, some basic ideas you can take like you know uh, across the individual units uh, since it is uh, you know there are so many observations 165 observations the between uh, variations are, are more than that of the uh, within variation. So, over the time changes are not much so far as uh, you know per capita expenditure is concerned. Whereas, uh, you know uh, education and, and disability is aspect is concerned you can also check the differences accordingly. Now, the CCM model we have already derived this treats a data set like uh, any other cross sectional data this ignores the data that has a time and individual dimensions that is why the assumptions are similar to that of the ordinary least square model. So, these are the results we, we explained and uh, we have uh, clarified how the coefficient could be interpreted, uh, interpreted and the p value could be compared. So, uh, further to this uh, you may also refer to my previous lecture as well previous uh, lecture on um, handling classical data using stata. So, uh, this is uh, uh, the similar to that of the explanation made in in in, in uh, OLS regression that is why we carry with the command R e g all right R e g dependent variable and in uh, control variables if any are there and accordingly you can uh, uh, run the regression and interpret it. There is no more uh, things to add rest of the things we will explore and find out if you have any difficulties we will be happy to address it. These are all for the uh, in this lecture on the next lecture we will be clarifying on fixed effect model that is going to be very interesting and I will explain you the you know, um, um, you know equation very carefully and I will also discuss about I term, T term and it will be more fascinating for you to um, attend. Thank you, uh, let me stop here.